Hi, my name is Seth. Today I'm going to give a little demonstration on using KeePass Droid from an Android device and KeePass from a Windows device and then Google Drive on both devices to keep a single database in sync across all your devices. So let's dive right in. So step one, you're going to need to install some software. First thing you're going to need is Google Drive, which should already be installed for most of you. But if not, you can find it in the Google Store, and you can see it's already installed for me. And the next one that you're going to need, of course, will be KeyPass Drive. I mean KeyPass Droid. Just install that. So once you have the software, go ahead and start up KeyPass Droid, and it will default to creating a new database in this location. Now, if you already have a database, then you can you don't need to go into um, KeyPass Droid at all. You can um, just start at the step where where I start uploading it into Drive, and I'll show you where that is. So I'm going to create this database with the default name. I'm going to give it a simple password. And I'm going to add an entry. Now, right now, you probably can't see what I'm doing. That's because KeyPass Droid blocks screen capture while, data, um, while password entries are being shown. out of KeyPass Droid. Now I'm going to go into Google Drive. This is this is where I'm going to grab that database that I just created and upload it. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a folder for it. And I'm going to call my folder um, my KeyPass folder. Then I'm going to go into that new folder, and I'm going to upload my data. You do that by hitting the plus, and do upload. Now you have to hit on hit the three stacks to show internal storage. I'm uh, I was already showing it right there. And then you go into um, your device. Mine's the Nexus 5X. And you go to the KeyPass folder, and this is the database that I just created. So I'm going to click on the Open, and now it's uploading that, that new database. Now it's finished, and so I'm going to click on the three dots for more options. And I want to make this available offline. That's going to make it so that if I don't have a data connection, I can still get to the last updated copy of my database. And now I'm finished with finished with Drive. And now I want to create a shortcut to that to that database. So I'm going to hold down on the home screen get to widgets, go down to drive, and I'm going to make a drive shortcut. I'm going to hold down and drag that to my home screen. If I have multiple accounts before I see this, I'd be asked which account I want to use. Now it's showing me my folders, so I want to navigate into the folder where I, that I created for it, and I'm going to select that KDBX file. Now I have a shortcut on my home screen that goes directly to keep to my to my database, which means if I have multiple databases stored in, in there, then I can get to any one of them by each by its own shortcut. And now this is opening in Google the file from Google Drive. There's my entry. I'm gonna add another one. Okay, and now I have 
two entries. And I'm going to exit. That concludes the section on the phone. When you next see me, I'm going to be on the computer. All right, and welcome to the computer. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to download KeePass. And we get that from keepass.info. Go to the downloads page, and we want the professional edition, which is currently KeePass 2.34. All right, and I'm not going to let make you guys wait for this download. Um, I'll pick up where the install starts. All right, and we are successfully downloaded, and now I'm going to run the installation. Yes, I do want to allow this app to make changes. All right, and accept the agreement. I usually take the defaults for installations like this. You want to make sure that you allow it to associate KDBX files with KeePass. That's how it's going to, going to know what application to open. All right, and if I did my job correctly, I cut out a little bit more of that waiting there. And now it's finished, so I'm going to allow it to launch. This just ensures that the installation went okay. I'm not actually going to do anything in it. Oh, I am going to enable it to check for its own updates, so it'll let me know when there are updates to be installed. And now we're in KeePass successfully. And I'm just going to exit back out. So the next thing we need to do is download Google Drive Sync. So we're going to go to drive.google.com. We're already logged in. It just came right up. Otherwise, I would have to log in here. And all we need to do is click on the gearbox. There's also a little notice down here. But if you've dismissed that, it may not be showing up for you. But under the gearbox, there is a download drive link. And there is an option for download for PC. I am going to accept and install. And I'm going to start the installation. And yes, I want it to make changes. Now it's going to download for a little bit, and I'm not going to make you guys wait for that. I'll pick up after this. OK, and the installation is now complete. All right, now it needs us to log into our account. All right, and then this gives us a little bit of information about it. And now when we get to this screen where it says you're all set, you want to make sure you click on the Sync Options button. Um, for me personally, I don't like to sync everything, so I like to select the folders that I'm going to sync. And I'm just going to sync the My KeePass folder folder. Start the sync. So what it did is after it was done installing, it showed us the Google Drive folder on our, on our system. And since there was very little there, it synced very quickly. So I'm going to um, copy 
the file, but paste it as a shortcut. So now I have a shortcut to the file on my Google Drive sync folder. So then whenever I want to open it, all I do is double click it or single click it, depending on how your Windows is set up. And it's password was set when I created the database on the phone. And these are the entries that I added on the phone. I'm gonna add another entry here too, just to show that I can. There I have three entries. Now notice I have a little star here to tell me that I have an update that needs to be saved. On the, the PC side of things, you do have to save it when you're finished. So um, what I like to do is just close the application and hit save. And now my database is, has been saved to Google's, Google Drive. Uh, I'm going to pick up another quick demonstration on the phone just to, just to show you that that new entry is out there. All right, and we are back on the phone. And I'm going to double click on my keypad database shortcut. And I get the opening in Drive. And I'm going to put in my password. And now you can see I have all three of my entries. The, the file automatically synced itself on my phone. So I hope that this has proven useful, helpful. Um, and thank you for watching.